Thank you very much indeed. Good evening, Reading. How lovely to finally be here. I broke down on the way to the gig tonight, which was a bit embarrassing. Crying on the train. Um, I'm actually in my late 30s, I'm 41. Um, you can't get later than that. You can tell I'm a bit older than some of the younger fellas because I like to wear my trousers all the way over my buttocks. <laughs> yeah, I'm old school. Um, it's always intrigued me, the low trouser fashion, because the rest of us who don't wear the trousers like that, we're just meant to accept it, aren't we? When we see a man's go, oh, right, I'm going to wear them down there. <laughs> Below the actual run. <laughs> sort of below the bottom. <laughs> it seems to defy all physics, doesn't it? You're thinking, how on earth is he giving them up? <laughs> One can only assume they're hooked over something. <laughs> I just think if your trousers are below your buttocks, it's no longer a pair of jeans. It's a long pair of denim socks. <laughs> so here we are then, Credit Crunch Britain. Credit Crunch, it's a, starting to kick in. As you can see, we don't really care. <laughs> We've responded to this in a very British way. We're just going to drink our way through this. <laughs> Uh, 
Because it's putting stuff off, isn't it, to procrastinate, which is quite a male trait, fellas. We'll have to admit it. We do put stuff off. Ladies, there's a really good reason for this. It's because there's so many slightly more interesting things in the world to be doing <laughs> than painting that door. <laughs> Three months my wife has been asking me to paint the door. Why is she going to do it? God only knows. <laughs> I'm all for equality, but apparently you have to have a penis to paint the door. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I woke up one morning. I woke up one morning, fellas. You know that feeling, that DIY feeling, not that one, the other one. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you bought a new tool and you want to flip it using it. You go, I know, I'll paint the tool, right? I'll paint the tool, I can do that. But we just had the floor board stripped down to the wood to prove that we were middle class. Um, <laughs> Carpets, are you still? Um, <laughs> sea glass, that's acceptable. Uh, I did want the paint dripping on the newly stripped floor, so I put lots of newspaper down, right? Because that's the preparation part of the job, and that's what the ladies love the preparation. Yeah. You like the preparation. And it looked good, my wife was pleased, because that looks like something's about to happen, so she leaves the room. <laughs> she comes back an hour later, I'm reading the newspaper. <laughs> You probably worked out by now I'm, I'm, I'm not a geezer. I've never achieved geezer status. I know some geezers and I like geezers. I'm not suggesting you're a geezer. You're a geezer, aren't you? And uh, I'm, he's a geezer. I'm a bloke. I'm a bloke. I've never achieved geezer status. I've always been on the periphery of land culture. And I think that's because I use words like periphery. <laughs> I met uh, Uber Geezer quite recently. I think he may have been a cockney fella. Uh, I don't think we've got cockneys in tonight. If you're not sure if you are a cockney, by the way, simply look down. If you're covered in buttons, <laughs> probably a cockney. Or a sky remote. <laughs> Either way, you're probably not working. <laughs> officially, officially. <laughs> You've got to love the cockney, the eel's only natural predator. <laughs> so, <laughs> me and this Peter. We're in a confined space. It's a small pub saloon room. I've detected a little bit of tension between me and him, so I suggest a conversation as a way forward in our burgeoning friendship. Pretty soon we're involved in a conversation. In fact, I, I seem to have started it like this. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that appeared to be his opening gambit. <laughs> I'm a patient man. I simply wait for some more information. <laughs> he continues. Anyway! I said you can't start a sentence with anyone. You haven't said them yet. Why about? <laughs> Finally, he gets into the meat of it. The economy's at the toilet here, mate. I said, what do you mean? He said, the economy is at the toilet. I said, what do you mean? He said, I've just heard on the radio, mate. There's only a thousand pound lift in the world. I said, no. <laughs> Pandas. <laughs> In the wild. <laughs> I said, I think you'll find it's the ecology that's up the toilet. <laughs> he didn't hear that because he had me in the head. Soon. You've been lovely, thank you very much um, for your indulgence and uh, your time. Just wanted to tell you this I, um, I joined one of those book groups recently in, in an effort to become a slightly more interesting person. Now, unfortunately, the first book we made was Chuck Palahniuk's Fight Club, which was later made into a movie with Brad Pitt. Now, as many of you will know, the first rule of Fight Club. <laughs> Yeah, first meeting was... <laughs>